Okay. Is is that all right? Now you now you. <laughs> so now you're a little further back, and I can only see like the top of your bun. I think now it's. Now I can't see bun. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel it has been a while because you know life mom and things going on behind the scenes and you know eight classes doesn't really allow me to kind of stay up all night editing because I have to stay up all night and do homework but luckily for us it is passing the middle of the middle of the semester so we're almost done Thank God because you know home skillet needs a break um if you've made it this far already I'm sure it's only like 30 45 seconds but I tend to be long-winded so if you have made it this far and you are new here thank you for joining and deciding to watch if you are not new here and you're coming back to visit as per usual I want to say thank you also go ahead and subscribe down below and click that little bell is that the shape Click, click that bell <laughs> and you know so when I do post and you're interested you can know when I'm posting so today I actually put up um, a questionnaire on my Instagram that was like hey you know I want to do a get ready with me chit chat type of video what do you guys want to see and I had a couple responses but one thing I haven't talked about lately is my series being married young boom being married young I have not talked about that for a while so today the topic we're going to talk about is gender roles <clears throat> so we're going to get started and I didn't um, apply my base I already did my eyebrows clearly and I'm gonna do my best to talk while um, I'm doing my makeup today we're going to talk about gender roles and I feel like it's important to talk about that in my center and I feel like my friend Jessica is here but she doesn't want to be on camera <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> so she's helping me do the hard work um, so yeah so I feel like it was important today to talk about gender roles because a lot of um, people get married expecting you know Oh, the woman, she has to do all the cooking, all the cleaning, take care of the kids, and the man just goes home, or goes to work and bring and brings, why am I so tongue-tied today? I am drinking four shots of, 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 of blonde espresso, so I'm like litty right now. But, um, they just expect the man to, you know, go to work, and the woman stays home to do everything everything and it's just like we live in a totally different climate than what our parents grew up in so to me that's not even realistic but when I was married that's really what took place so we're gonna get into that so today we're gonna use this um, revolution makeup we're gonna use this Revolution makeup palette. It is the Jewel Collection. And I got my tools done, but you guys can't see it. But we're gonna go for this peachy springtime pinkish look today, even though I'm wearing all black. And we are gonna start off with um, All Night for our base. But yeah, so I uh, I went through a lot of that when I first got married, even though we were both active duty army at the time. And I was just like, oh, in order for me to be the perfect wife, I have to cook, I have to clean, I have to make sure that he doesn't have to lift a finger. And maybe by the end of four months, I was completely drained because it just it was not realistic for me to clean a four bedroom house with two bathrooms a living room and a kitchen by myself weekly and maybe I made it a little bit harder on myself but you know when you get married how people say a relationship is like 50 50 
it really has to be like that or 100 100 for some people but you know even depending on which way you look at it it's just like you can't do everything by yourself and what I used to tell him is we both shit in the same toilet you know and if you see me picking up things off the ground picking up toys cleaning you know it doesn't take much to pause your video games get up and offer a helping hand if I cook you clean if you cook I clean if you do a bathroom I do a bathroom you know I feel like the biggest issue with couples these days is that everybody still expects women to do the majority of things and men just you know they do the yard and they take out the trash and then you know that's cool I feel like that's important also but things like doing the yard and taking out the trash those aren't everyday tasks and then when you throw children into the mix it's a completely different story because children have to be tended to every single day for all of that to be on the woman it's just it's too much and it's not fair and these this is why women deal with postpartum depression or depression in general or when stay-at-home moms they're doing all of this stuff while he's at work you know he gets home and he's tired but not realizing that the woman is also tired having kids 24 7 or having kids 12 hours a day you wake up you feed them you you know give them their bath you change their clothes you go do groceries you're cleaning and you're picking up and you're doing all this so even though he's had a long day at work when you get home we've also had a long day being a stay-at-home mom is very very exhausting and I know that there are men you know who are stay-at-home dads and you know kudos to you guys because I don't feel like one is more important than the other I don't feel like you know that they are non-existent but if you do have a spouse who is a stay-at-home being that helping hand is very very important and I'm just putting it in the role in which I played in my marriage because I was a stay-at-home mom for a little bit and it was probably the most depressing stage of our marriage being at home with the a six-year-old and a six-month-old it was just ugh. like I I pray stay-at-home moms so much because I just I it takes so much strength and mental stability to be able to do that and when you don't have a team around you it just it makes it that much harder we're gonna pause this conversation and we're gonna go in with Desire, desire. We're not. Um, I think we're gonna go in. I wish there was a darker brown. Anyway, we're gonna go in with date and put it on the bottom lid. Sorry if this video feels rushed at all. Or if like I'm talking fast, like I'm really like hype on caffeine at the moment. I had two shots of blonde at work and then I got a grande with four shots of blonde. <laughs> a grande with four shots of blonde. So you know, six shots of espresso in like six hours, it's a bit much, but I feel great. I'm gonna crash later, but I feel great. And I wanted to put a light base because I'm going to be putting on peachy shades to match my toes. So we're gonna do that. But in a sense where, so back to the conversation, in a sense where we don't, um, you guys don't have kids, it's still important to you know make each other feel like you guys aren't the only ones you know doing certain things like if he goes to get your carpet cleaned or things of that nature you know do something for him do something for him that he would normally do like what's what's a man chore 
maybe take out the trash some men won't let their women take out the trash but you know maybe take out the trash or you know when he gets home have a beer open for him or just some type of, of thoughtful thing maybe cook his favorite thing for dinner it's in the end I feel like you have to do what works for your family but it's also very important to understand that gender roles should not be a huge fact is she okay that gender roles should not be a huge factor because it's just it's not fair when one person is taking on 90% of the work and you're kind of just chilling at home like I feel like the ultimate disrespectful thing is to watch your spouse busting their ass cleaning doing everything lifting every finger and you're kind of just sitting back relaxing I just feel like that is so disrespectful and I'm saying that because it happened to me uh, many many times and I just was always extremely aggravated feeling like I was the only person participating in the upkeep of the house a lot of men like to nag or a lot of men like to say that oh you know my wife nags this that and the third but it's just like when we're asking for help and you guys don't respond to it and then we start nagging it's because we've been asking for help for so long and now the nagging has come from frustration and when she gets to the point where she stops asking for help or he stops asking for help is because we feel like we're wasting our breath at that point and when your partner doesn't feel like you are working as a team that's when your marriage starts to become divided and it's just like I think that's top five reasons of why people you know decide to divorce because nobody feel wants to feel like they're doing things in a relationship by themselves like at that point what's the point in being married if you're doing everything if you're cooking if you're doing all the cleaning if you're doing all the grocery shopping like it's not fair to your partner so I don't know what you think even though you've been on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. So, we are going to go in with... Oh, is this DM? Like, DM me, baby! Yeah, it is DM. Okay, so this is a very light... Orange? It's like a shimmer orange, but I can't... can't really describe it. It's like an orangish peaches color. And we're going to go, you know... On the outside, like in the little crevice of the eye. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. I can only put in the perspective of being a woman and being a mom. Because, you know, I'm not a guy. And when I got married, I assumed the role of mom because he had a child from his first marriage. So that's, that's the only perspective that I could speak on. But... If you're in a different, you know, scenario, let me know in the comments. How is that for you? Are you a stay-at-home dad? Are you, you know, the man who does all the cooking and does the cleaning? Does your wife not help? Or if you're in a relationship where it is 50-50, how, you know, how do you guys work? Who does what? How do you guys split it up? You know, let me know, man. I feel like my parents are great examples of that. And they've been married, I think... 14 years I think it'll be 14 this year honestly I lost track don't come for me mom I know how you like to get bold I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just kidding don't come for me um, but they they've been married for quite a while and um I'm gonna go in with confident I'm, I haven't I'm gonna go in with confident I haven't been showing you guys this the whole time and that's this color um because I really just want that orangey peaches vibe. And um, we're going to go in the center because it's glitter. And what's a look without glitter? So my mom and dad have been um, married for going on 13 years. And it's pretty awesome to see them like work with each other because when I see them they're literally marriage goals like if my mom cleans one bathroom my dad cleans the other bathroom 
if my mom cooks my dad you know cleans the dishes you know right after she's done cooking and he'll clear the table and clean those dishes or if my mom vacuums the room excuse me he'll vacuum the living room and I'm like okay peanut butter and jelly okay eggs and grits okay Sunday with fudge on top like they are just they <laughs> work so well together and it's literally nauseating I'm like how are you guys so perfect and they just and they're happy about it like you can tell my mom is happy you can tell my dad is happy like they don't look stressed they don't look like Ugh, why am I you know doing all this work by myself like they legitimately look like they don't have to take on the world by themselves and I feel like it's so important because it's just like you know marriages there a lot of them are ending in divorce and a lot of these marriages that are ending in divorce are preventable like there there's so much that you can do in order to keep your spouse happy that for it not to work for the reason of them feeling like they're going through these you know female or male roles alone you just have to get out of that mindset like this can be one of those things that would save your spouse and that's actually another reason why um what is it why why knowing your spouse's love language is important because some people's love language is um gifts some people's love language is you know physical touch and there are other people there's acts of service and by helping them clean you that's adhering to their love language it's like oh you love me enough to put away the groceries that I spent an hour shopping for at Kroger so now you're getting some extra booty tonight because you put away some groceries like damn that's all I gotta do yes that's all you gotta do like it's it's a give and take and people need to understand that you just can't take 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 and not feed that part of your marriage it's not fair and when you're so busy taking you're actually draining your partner and when you start to wonder why dang why she ain't doing this for me or why he ain't doing this for me it's because you have depleted your partner of all their love and energy marriage cannot last on love it can't like oh I love him that's cool what else is there you really have to understand that you have to put in that work and that energy and that time and not just spend so much time taking that there is nothing left of that person. So I want to finish the eyes because I have not done the rest of my face and we're going to do hood rat shit after I get done. I'm lying. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no hood rat shit to do in Augusta. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I'm flexing. I want to say that I'm done. I feel like I, you know, this is alright. But I'm wearing black, so it's not... I don't want to do anything like that's too much on my face. I'm wearing black because it rhymes with bloated and I'm cramping. It doesn't rhyme with bloated. But... <laughs> But I am cramping and you know, you look great when you're uh, <laughs> on your period. And like then nobody can tell you got a little tubby. Cause I definitely don't have no six pack right now. Hell, when I'm not bloated, I don't really got no six pack. Yeah, I think <laughs> she's sitting here laughing at me silently. Oh, God. I'm gonna <laughs> I am done with my eyes. I'm not. I'm gonna go do some eyeliner and then I'm gonna come right back and finish this segment. All right, I don't know where we left off, but we're on 28%. So I'm gonna uh, hurry up. And honestly, I don't know what my complexion is. I have five, six different shades of Clinique. So we're gonna go in with, uh, what is this? We're gonna go in with uh, Beyond Perfecting, this is 18 in Sand, and this is a foundation and a concealer, which I like, but don't really need, because 
I guess my skin is not that bad from what people say. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup 21 Cream Caramel or Caramel, depending on where you're from. And just kind of, you know, dab it in. I'm a little light. It's a little dark. The lighting is dark? A little bit. Yeah. Usually I would put my um my light up, but I wanted to use natural lighting, which is why I tried to. So on a side note, if you're one of those people who do makeup and know how to do it without getting it in your own um, baby hair, child, let me know. I ain't got there yet. I be having to um, redo my baby hair and then the the um, the, sh the stuff it gets on my uh, my toothbrush that I use for my baby hair. Ooh, it's a struggle. Black women struggle. All right, we're gonna bring this down. So in conclusion, if you're planning on being married, please don't make your spouse feel like they have to, you know, take care of another child, essentially. Because that's what it feels like. It's like, it makes you feel like you're taking care of a grown child. And it's extremely aggravating when not only do you have to, you know, clean up after yourself, you have to clean up after another person. Two people, two hands, two people paying bills, two people to make a kid. Y'all getting where I'm going with this? Do not put everything on one person. It's not fair. Um, I'm not really the type to contour, but we're gonna just, you know, put a little bit. I like this uh, coffee and cocoa palette by Beauty Bakery, and I use the anti depresso and I just put a little bit on my nose, and I rub it out with my finger, because I'm honestly not really like skilled at this part of makeup, and I just like to put a little around, take my contour brush. And you really don't need a lot. Like, Beauty Bakery is very um, pigmented. So honestly, a light coat is all you need. And I just go around. You know, I'm not heavy into the makeup like Auntie Jackie. And then I'm trying to hurry up before my camera dies. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Ooh, okay. I did something there. Y'all, I haven't did my makeup since December 2018. Like, for real, for real, I have not touched any type of concealer, products, anything. Oh, shit, I forgot to put on concealer. Oops. <laughs> this video is all over the place, y'all. I'm sorry. I hope it makes sense. It's because I got company and she distracted me. She, she. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. Yeah, alright. Alright. Yeah, she distracted me. So, um, mm -hmm. I'm going with concealer. This is medium dark caramel by NARS. They're a uh, radiant concealer. It's the only concealer that I use. And I don't know if it's highlighting or hiding, but you know, I'm going to just do what it do. And then we are going to bake underneath the eyes. I forgot to wet this, but you know, we're still gonna do it. And I'm gonna probably fast forward this clip since I'm not doing much talking and I'm just trying to hurry up. Turn this way because this is where all the light is. Do I look super light skin today? Yup. <laughs> <sighs> 
what's next? Blush. So, to cap on that, just, you know, think of everything that, you know, is important to your spouse before you get married and be like, damn, she asking me for too much. You really have to, um, marriage is about being selfless. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Forget gender roles. Forget what works for everybody else and find a line that works for you and your spouse. Because that's all you can do. The only people who can keep you guys together is you. Don't let this be one of the things that, you know, tear tears you guys apart. Because it's very easy to feel like you lose that magic after you get married. Um, it's preventable. It's preventable. We're going to go into this um, NYX. Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I'm gonna try to hurry up because I know we're dying and you know, go dust on the apples of the cheeks. And there's a girl named Kendall on YouTube that I like to follow. And she sometimes puts her um, blush on her nose. And it kind of just gives you like a, a flush look, which I like. Everybody don't like it, but you know, that's what works for me. And my sister's home and she's gonna come in here being ratchet. And for our glow, we're gonna go into the Anastasia Glow Kit. I don't even know if they make this anymore because I haven't seen it at the stores. But we're gonna do a Golden Dawn, which is my favorite because it looks like it's the most empty. And we're gonna do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so y'all can see me from a song. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna take this little one because I like to put concealer. Concealer. Wow. I like to put highlight in the middle of my eyes. And at the top of my brow to set off my lip. I'm gonna dust a little bit on the nose. Oh, hey girl. Yo, there's no light over here, so I'm seeing everything from my door. What's up, Nick? Hey, what are we doing for lips? I need to hurry up. My my camera's about to freaking Nick, die. Hour. Mind your business, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> How much work are you putting in? Okay, so we stopped for a little bit. <laughs> do I want to do a coral? No, I want to do a, um. Why don't I have any orange lipstick? That's so lame. I don't know. Damn. Say it louder? Nothing. <laughs> so we're gonna go with some lip liner. Yeah, my nerves. <laughs> hey. I told y'all she was gonna come here being ratchet. The ghetto! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> you know you We know this. We know this. And this we're gonna do. And um, who is this by? This is by Flower. I think this is Drew Barrymore's line. And this is Fuchsia. Fuchsia. And we're gonna do this Maybelline. Um, super stay matte. It's very super stay. It's also a little bit drying, so make sure you moisturize. Looks like some type of chapstick. Oh. 
That's not too bad. Uh -uh. I like this little ensemble we got going on. And I'm gonna finish off with Revolution makeup. It's a lip topper because I want that little extra schnazzy glow. I think we're done. And this is our and this is our final look. So we're gonna spray. And I'm gonna close my mouth because I always get it in my mouth and choke on it. And this is our final look. I girl got something in my eye. Anyway, this is our final look. I'm sorry it's all over the place. I'm sorry I'm doped up on caffeine. But I hope <laughs> but I hope everything made sense. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope if you're in a marriage already that you can actually pull something from this and if you're engaged or you know if you just have like a man's or a woman's and you guys live together, I would really adhere to these steps because you know, it could only get better. I mean, it could get worse, but we're gonna hope that, you know, it gets better. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and yeah. We love you, bye.